Alrighty, we are back. It is May 20th? Yeah, May 20th, wow. And I haven't been on this vlog since, I think, beginning of March, so it's good to be back, and I just wanted to apologize. Uh, this is like my side fun hobby sort of thing that I do. It's not my full-time job. I'm still working hard in school and sports, so... That's why I haven't been able to deliver content as much as I wanted to, but I've actually had some content saved up on my phone for a while. So today you're going to be getting um, kind of a different vlog because you go all the way from winter to beautiful spring with some different people that you haven't seen on the vlog that much. Actually, no, you've seen him, but he's just been absent for a while. So uh, you're going to get a nice little surprise from... from who I like to call the gopher, the Topher gopher. So, you'll see him. And let's get the vlog started. We're gonna start off like March. So, we'll flashback. Woo! Gah! I'm so sad. We're not in Florida anymore. No more Florida trip. No more beaches. That'll be soon, summer. But I'm excited because guess what season it is? Don't guess. I'm gonna tell you. It's maple syrup season. See that? Tap. Now, this year we're going kind of small scale because I'm a junior in high school, got to keep those grades up. But next year we're going full blown, probably going to tip, uh, well, full blown for a small business. Probably going to tap like 15 to 20 trees. This year we're only tapping one, but it's still a process. And ho ho, boy, do we have a fire to get this heat started up on. Because to make maple syrup, you got to tap the trees, you got to get the sap out of the trees, <sighs> and then you got to boil it down with some heat. And this is my source of heat. Look at that. Oh yeah. Focus in. Woo. That is throwing some heat for sure, guys. So got my wood pile over here. Gonna be all stacked for this heat and I'm gonna get this process started now. Woo! All right, so I'm not sure how good the lighting is for you guys, but for me, it looks pretty good. I just put on the grate and a couple of cinder blocks here to get above because I gotta slip some wood underneath there to keep the fire going. So the heat keeps coming for the sap. Uh, to burn. So I'm actually going to go grab a pan now so I can throw that on there and then put some of the sap buckets on and then you'll get to see the process. Yeah! Okay, update. Before I grab the pan, I just walked into my house. It is very steamy. Well, I don't know why. Oh, I got the processes going both places. Look how bubbly that is. Okay, and now I get to sort through this basement and try and find them. But I'm pretty organized, so haha. -ha. Right there, there we are, woo! That is the bucket, I actually gotta take it out of the wrap. Preservation. Head up back outside! Woo Here she is, look at that. Nice pan for the sap. Gonna burn it up. See, you want a large surface area so you could have more of the pan actually on, on the fire. Cause then, Sorry, I just had to close the door there. No big deal. Because then with more surface area and the heat on the pan, we're going to get more burnage on the sap and a faster production. That's what we want because I don't want to be out here all night. It's already like 7 o'clock, so probably going to go till 10 o'clock tonight. Once the buckets fill up on the tree, I actually have extra buckets to help store it. So I put it in the snow to keep it nice and cool so no bacteria gets in there, no bugs, and it's looking pretty clean right now. So then I... Mmm. Take a sip of that. It's good. <laughs> Got snow on my face. It's good for you. Good for your bones. All right. There it is, guys. Right there. Lighting is getting a little worse since it's getting darker out. So you can't see me right now, but now I'm just laying down next to the fire. You can see my hand. So this is me speaking. I am laying down next to the fire and listening to the sap burn. Not burn, but boil. Because what I'm doing right now, basically, is boiling the water out of the solute, and the solute is the, um, the, the glucose from the tree, which is the sugar which turns into ma maple syrup. So that's like the science, oh, wait, sorry. That is the science behind it. Thank you for watching, but we're not done yet. Hee <laughs> hee. So it is currently 1020. Right here. All waiting to be filled up. process is all done and we're ready to put them into the mason jars. Yummy! Okay, 
So we're in the final stages. Just gotta pour all the syrup into the bottles and we'll see how much we end up getting. About two days later, uh, since the last time I did the sap, and I just came out to the fire with my shovel to do some maintenance, and this stupid thing is still burning. I have no clue how. I just dug this up, and there's a stump right there, and it's still smoking, and a little flame just caught. I have no clue how, but it must have been a ton of heat, and I actually still feel some heat, so. Wow, that fire was hot. Just had to tell you guys that. This is Johnville, and we're doing some cleanup right now, because we got a bunch of branches down, and uh, my wood's all uncovered. Not not my wood. That that wood. Um, we have some pallets that we got to fill up with all that wood and some more chainsaw to do. So time to get to work. What up? What up? We're gonna do a little fishing vlog here. We're gonna go fishing with Chrissy. Here. What? <laughs> You driving in your waders? I'm ready to go fishing, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so Topher's already in his waders. He drove here and then for some reason, I'm a little weirdo. Um, I'm talking about you, Chris. <laughs> uh, I gotta put my waders on, so we'll get in those. But first, we gotta check out what kind of lure we're gonna put on my rod. Ow, Jesus. We got this one, a little curvy. Looks pretty good. Got a little trout pattern on it. Uh, then we've got another trout pattern, but not curvy. Uh, Got this little guy, and then we got this. Yeah, so basically today we're gonna be heading to Farmington River and we're gonna be doing some trout fishing, right? Uh, maybe get some rainbows, some browns. Say hi, Chris. What up, assholes? <laughs> and Chris brought his grill, so maybe if we catch some decent sized ones, we're gonna do a little catch and cook. Chris been wanting to do a catch and cook for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Damn, Chris. Damn, you look fine, girl. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Gonna head to the bridge for the rapids, right? Yeah. Cause you got a big rod right there. Big sack, too. You know what they say. You know what they say what? Big rod. Big rod what? Big rod. Big rod, I don't think they say that. Hey, Chris, I think in this situation, the best thing to do is just let out a giant <laughs> Hooked up and he can't get it out. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is what? <laughs> yes, it is. Alright, Chris. Let's think. What's the best option right here? My head looks like a mushroom. Do you want to fuck with me? <laughs> Um, yeah, you can't just keep pulling out on the line because you have absolutely no line on your I reel. have plenty of line. No, not really. All right, John. So the, situa <laughs> the situation is Chris is caught and he doesn't know how to get it out. And caught way over there. He wants to go up on the bridge. You want to go up on the how bridge? How the fuck do I get up there? Walk around. Should I? No. What if I don't even get it? It's not that. Chris, just yank it. Go around. Still your motherfucking bitch. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> that actually pinched my nut. <laughs> oh. It's not coming in. They're looking at me like a fucking moron. <laughs> They're the fucking morons. I gotta bleep all this out. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so basically right in there, it's extremely deep. And we're standing here. I think it might be time, folks. Might be time. I'm gonna have to cut them loose. Just smack it. One pull. Smack it. Fucker. Fuck your mom. Chris, tighten your drag. Tighten your drag. I don't have a pull. Fucking pussy. <laughs> nope, it's not coming out, baby. What should I do? Make a face. Make a face. Ha <laughs> ha. 
He's falling. Let's get out of here, boys. Let's run. <laughs> we had to change spots because Chris got his lure stuck and he's dumb. So <laughs> we're gonna go to a calmer area too because their fish weren't biting over in the rapids. I don't drop it. John, you gotta be very gentle right. with these creatures because if they start to. You gotta be very gentle with these creatures because if they start to bleed out of the mouth, it's most likely a catastrophic energy. Uh, 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 catastrophic energy. Uh, <laughs> injury. Alright, videos hit me now. Not We're going you. in. Not your ugly head. We're going in. John, what is it? What do we have? It's not a, a rainbow, you idiot. It's a trout. I don't even know what this what is. What is it? It's probably a dart. Is that a thing? A dart. Nice catch. I right, see it. Pull yeah, it up. That's great. Chris. Sideways. You hold the camera that's, sideways that's for the vlog. Why are you in the video? You don't even know the vlog. I caught the cam- <laughs> Someone just- God damn it. Chris! There's an alligator. <laughs> oh my god. Can you show the fish, fish sideways? Alright, put it in the Sideways. Water. It's dying. Yeah, see it? Fishy. Chris caught a fish. <laughs> Alright, now get a release video. Release video. You gotta revive it. Come on, swim away, buddy. Swim. John, I think Swim. you killed them. No, it's good. Watch. Ready? John, I think you killed Ready? them. Ready? His tail's moving. John? His tail's moving. John? Come on, buddy. There we go. See him swim? Oh, well, Woo! there he goes. Wow. What a nice catch. Wow. <laughs> wow. We out here. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, check. Who the fuck's that? Who the fuck is that? Stop swearing. <laughs> Who's that? So Chris was asking me why he was casting so much shorter than me, and I told him, he's only got a five and a half foot rod. I've got a seven and a half. Size matters when it comes to rod size, especially for fishing and casting distance. Am I right, Chris? We'll take that as a yes. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you got his phone all wet. I hope that pouch is, I think that pouch is waterproof. The poppy's got you in sight. What's up? What'd you say? Nothing. Don't worry about it. All right. All right, so let's get out of here, right, Chris? We're going to go to winding trails. We only caught one little fish. Don't even know what kind it was. Trout. Chris, what is it called? Trout. Dart. No, not a trout. He, he thinks it's a dart. I don't dart. really know. But we're going to winding trails. Maybe we'll catch a fish. I don't know. It's winding trails. It's like a kid place. Chris loves it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I love the kids. All right. Chris, you want to do a little um, transport to winding trails? Shove, oh, your, yeah. shove your big head into the camera. What should I do? Make a face, make a face. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I love the kids. All right, Chris, you want to do a little um, 